Morning folks, welcome back. Well, <laughs> for those that didn't uh, follow the events of yesterday, um, one uh, PAP, police abusing power, uh, Dan has lost his channel for a week pending appeal at the moment. Um, I don't quite know the ins and outs of that or why that happened. But I dare say when he comes back, he'll tell us himself. <coughs> but um, the other events of yesterday, as most of you will have seen by now, we're in London. Um, somebody decided to do something about the disgusting statue outside the BBC. Big up, Dave. Well done, mate. And well done to everybody that covered it. Um, sadly, the reports coming out today is that Dan was arrested along with David Chick um, being accused of conspiracy to cause criminal damage. They haven't named him, but there was only two arrests. Um, David was obviously always going to be one of them. And as we saw on the live, the other was Dan. Um, still waiting to hear any outcome of that. Uh, obviously, mainstream media, <laughs> not a bloody word, even though it was outside their windows. Um, there was a little bit in one of the mainstream papers today, a very small bit buried in there. Um, about it along with a picture of Dave up on the building and it just clearly stated that two people another man had been arrested uh, on suspicion of conspiracy to cause criminal damage but you know we, we see the bias now again of mainstream media now, when BLM did this in Bristol to the Colston statue, they were all over it like a rash. But that was BLM, wasn't it? You know, they're a protected species. They can uh, get away with shit like that when they want. And just uh, those that don't know the background, I mean, most people know now, but that statue represented um, Gill who was, he wasn't convicted, but he admitted on his deathbed that he was a paedophile, um, bestiality, kids, even his sister. Um, he was a right pervert, yet the BBC seemed to revere him. BBC, you make me sick. You've got no defence against this because there is no defence against it. <laughs> it just shows your arrogance towards the people of this country who actually fund you. I'm just glad that you're going to be disappearing soon. I really am. You, you make me sick physically. You, you should hang your heads in shame. No, you should just hang. Simple as that. That's my opinion. And that's all it is, YouTube. That's my opinion. All right. I'm not inciting anything here. But anyway, I'll leave that alone until um, I get more reports. Um, I probably will get a few texts today and emails concerning it. But um, I won't give anything out until then. So now yesterday, did Boris make a sincere apology? Well, he used that word, sorry. He may have meant it as an apology. But by immediately following it up with bullshit, excuses, technicalities, there was nothing sincere about that whatsoever. Sorry doesn't cut anymore, Boris. You've lied to us, cheated us. Put people in fear for their lives too many times now. Even your own people are telling you to go away, disappear. 
I agree with them, but who have we got to replace you? More of the same from what I can see. <laughs> and then and now we got old Prince Andy, old Andy Pandy and the Epstein crap. Well, they've all thrown their legal teams against it, for it, whatever. And the court has ruled now in America that he should face the music. <laughs> well, we'll see what happens there. Um, I've got my opinions on it. Um, we all know back in the day, Hollywood and the elite, it was sleep your way to the top. If you wanted to make money, sleep for it. Hollywood, everywhere, that went on. I, I used to say that they just go and give head to get ahead. <laughs> but to me, this, this woman is it's just another way of trying to get a big paycheck. She doesn't care about the money. <laughs> Liar. <sighs> oh, well. And then we get on to the siege in Coventry. I mean, that is quite local to me. Um, it's been all over the news. The police giving out certain details. Now, what they did release was very interesting because they said it all ended up as the result of a welfare check by the police. Now, knowing this now, it doesn't surprise me how it's gone. Because we've all seen them on the internet, other platforms of how they do their welfare checks. Knock, knock, are you okay? Yes, well, we want to come in and see. And the next thing, they're kicking the door in, tasering people, provoking people. So... At the moment, until I hear more details, my opinion is that the police incited this again. You know, how much more do we have to take from these narcissistic bastards? You don't check on somebody's welfare by kicking the fucking door in and then provoking them into doing something that you want them to do. And that's not part of your job that's what the welfare department are for not you idiots you can't even uphold the law so don't try and get into other areas that you know sod all about people need to wake up and stop living in fear of these bastards Film them at every opportunity. Expose them at every opportunity. They cannot keep getting away with this. We've had enough. This country needs to stand up for itself. Anyway, people. As always, I try to keep these short. I have got things to do today. I've got to sort my tools out ready for the weekend. Um, if you want to follow what's going on with Dan... Um, he is still on Facebook. Um, I dare say they'll keep him overnight, so he won't be out till today, at least. Um, that will be his only form of keeping us informed of what's going on. I don't do Facebook, but my missus does, and she will keep an eye on things. And I will try and keep you updated the best I can um, with any details I've got, as long as the details shouldn't be put on here, in which case I won't. So go and support him. Please abuse him powers. Show your love for him. He's a wonderful guy. And he didn't deserve what was going on yesterday. He didn't deserve to be treated like that. So anyway, I'm gone. And until the next one, thank you for your support. My respect to each and every one of you. And until then, stay safe. Stay strong. Stay free from this tyranny. Um, I don't know when the next video will be coming out. As I say, from tomorrow I've got work on, but it depends on the hours I do. So we'll see how it goes. But until then, respects, guys. Take care.